soon, but before we go to bed, it's like midnight and then you get up for work early tomorrow. So we need to get picking a new order. Uh, it's about $13, which is great because I've had um, a BrickLink order today um, from yesterday. It's packed. I've got an eBay order and it has, I think it's this one. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, two, what do you call it, Infinity Gauntlet hands. They're going out today. Um, $22, $21.60 or something along those lines for that one. That's going out. We've got, um, I think it's this one here, where I sold these on offer um, at $11 each. So two of the, I think it's Finkels, and two of the Murs, is it Mer? Something like that. So that sold for $44 for those four, which is $3 under the price. But again, I save the money on shipping on each individual. So I bought one that's $2.20 shipping on off the price. So ultimately I'm saving six bucks sixty on shipping by selling it to one person for $44, which is way more is way higher than the Brooklyn price and is a, is a decent price to sell these figures at. So those are all ready to go out, and we're going to start picking this last order, which is going to be quick. So going to do that quickly, and hopefully this stuff will be all uh, parted out tomorrow. So everything consolidated from set seven one seven two one the ninjago uh it clocked up near 19 160 parts uh for the two sets we've got all the new drawers ready to go in the excess of all the consolidated lots and we can do a quick check on what the store is sitting at after that it's sitting at twenty nine thousand parts 285 parts with 4,566 different lots. So that is awesome. 4,566 lots is more than I could ever imagined. And we are going up. And I definitely want to get the piece count up because that's something that um, I want to get up. And just because more pieces and people can buy more quantities than just one or two of a different lot. But I'm going to put these away and that's it. So on completion of the uh, Ninjago set, we've cleaned up a bit of rubbish, put all the drawers away, and setting up for some more parting out, because that is crucial to get parts in the store. And we have these five of his battle packs, uh, all brand new um, parts. Uh, the buyer, I, the seller I bought them off, just took out the, um, the minifigs, but left the droids. So it's still got the droids and all the parts, and the sticker sheets are still intact. They haven't been used, and so we're going to part these out. They're all brand new parts, and so hopefully this will add... I think we've got 12 of them in total. Um, and, yeah, we're going to part these out and get lots into the store. Let's go. So that is a pretty sight. All the 501st Battle Packs parted out. We've got the droid parts just there. Lots of light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, blue um, parts. And so I think it racks up nearly 2,000 parts. Um, and yeah, we're going to put these consolidate lots because I definitely have put these parts in my store already. Or well, some of them at least. And uh, then we're going to crack on with what's on for the rest of the day. Uh, we actually have an inch sticker sheet inspired by Pops, Pops Block Shop. So I'm going to putting stickers in these to... You know, make sure they stay safe. And then you get a few bigger ones with uh, not just nine, but a few smaller, uh, bigger, um, to fit the big ones. And then maybe put those on the eBay store from the 71721. Lots to do around here. So we're going to crack on and uh, get putting these in the store. So finished putting away all of the Five of First Battle Pack parts and... 3,200 items, pretty much. Our 117 unique lots, which is amazing. And $551 worth of stuff ready to be uploaded into the inventory. But what I have done, taken the droids out and built um, a few of them. 
because we're going to sell them in our eBay lot um, when we upload. All well, the Ninjago figures. Uh, we definitely also have a lot of consolidating to do with drawers that are too big. So all these pairs are going to be put into bigger drawers um, so they can fit. And they've got other consolidation stuff over there. But let's uh, verify these and see what the store total is. Definitely takes a second. I hate when it does this because you sit here. All right. All parted out. Let's go visit. That's right. Before we get there, have an order going out today. $22, some big parts. We have 32,477 items at 4,607 lots available. That is awesome. 4,607 lots and now over 30,000 pieces. That's insane. And I'm so, so happy that we're growing slowly and slowly. 87 orders, six fans. Galactic Bricks is growing. But so we are very busy here at Galactic Bricks. And I'm sorry, guys, for not keeping you updated on what's going on at the Bricklink store. It's been a very busy week. So we picked up a set, a used set the other day. Uh, it is the um, Ninjago set. I think it's 75, 705.50 or something along the lines of that. It's used set, parting out there. A few of the minifigs I thought were in good nick, but one of them that's the um, most expensive one's a bit damaged. But that's all right. I'm going to part out. It parts out for well over three times its value. So it's going to get uploaded. eBay cards cut. Waiting for labels to arrive on e from eBay so I can print out um, the tops. And so we can use these to make sure that our eBay listings are getting relisted. Um, that's going on and then put into the, the sheets like this um, for the ones we don't use. And then the other ones will go into the eBay containers over there. Um, also quickly parted out that set because we took out a minifigure and sold that. The uh, Micro Fighters Color and Shuttle. What else have we done? We have a few orders going out in the coming days. There's two here. There's a eBay order and a Bricklink order. Bricklink order was like $35. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six orders here, which makes a total of eight orders going out after Labor Weekend here in Melbourne. Um, and parts going up. We still have the um, Simpsons series minifigures to get uploaded. This parts to get uploaded. The minifigures so i'll keep updated in the next couple of coming days about what's happening there so make sure you check it out and uh we will see you soon so today is wednesday and something th i thought would never happen at the store for a long time at least or what would happen every now and again would be brick stripe separators that sell so i sold i think it's 15 orange ones and 13 uh turquoise i don't know what that color is and then they also bought a few small parts the three basketballs uh blue basketballs one red and just a few random slopes and stuff in there so that's all sold out and we're gonna pack that up and then we're gonna pack up another big quantity order so let's check that out so today while picking orders um i bought this the other day came out and it has become the most useful, amazing thing in the world for picking orders. So I've just picked this first order here. Um, not many lots, not many parts, but it's about $12, $13 order. Um, and all these are just perfect. You can put stuff in here and then pour it easily into the bags. So don't have to try to fit you know, 20 pieces all at once or um, put them individually in the bags. Um, so that's been real useful. So we're going to pack an order now with one and I'll show you what uh, halfway looks like and how easy and the end of the order just show how easy it is to use this thing I know it's not like a um, a trolley or anything but at the moment I don't think I can afford or need a trolley it's not an expense that I need to invest in yet um, but I can just carry this around put parts in have my phone go to the drawer pour it in here then pour it into a bag has made picking orders 10 times quicker seriously I spent probably barely a couple of minutes on this order maybe 10 minutes max so we're going to get packing this next order and uh, see how we so, go. So admin changes, 
um, which are going to help a lot, really going to help a lot. Save a quick amount of time, but they'll be really useful um, to save my hand. So instead of writing out the from, which is going to be the same every time, unless I change dress or change PO box, then I've just picked up some uh, labels, small labels, and we're going to use these for our um, eBay cards as well. But I thought I'd use uh, some of them as well for shipping labels. Instead of having to write it out, we're going to print it out and then just stick it on there. It's a lot quicker than writing out my address and galactic bricks every time. Small life change, but quality of life is going to increase. So over the past day, we have done a bit of sorting here of the eBay store. So these are all our minifigures at the moment. Uh, some of them are actually in drawers, so I need to go find them. I've put like a couple of minifigs from a long time ago before I started the eBay store. Um, and so these are all the listings that are up right now. We're going to sort them in and we've just put labels in them so eventually I can relist them. Similar, I got the inspiration from Pop's Box Shop. So we're going to be using this from now on to at least keep track of what we um, can build, what we need, etc. So that's all the ones that we currently have, bar a few. These are the ones that have yet to be listed. Uh, and some of them have the stickers yet to be printed, or they're missing pieces. So like the lizard man there is missing his tail and his legs. Um, and these ones have all stuff printed out, or missing pieces. So these are the ones that are going to get listed. There's more up here that need to be listed. These sick dragons I got in the used lot I'll show you. And then also bits and bobs with missing pieces that we're going to create listings for. Mini figures that are complete, just haven't got a, a listing yet. Uh, so we're going to finish off those. And then hopefully, I'll top my printer, which I should probably take off. We've got this used lot, old school Lego. So we're going to see what's good, what's good enough. And if there's nothing good enough in here to sell, then um, we will definitely look at just reselling it as used, not bother. Getting all the cleaning, all it's definitely older, but there's some sick stuff. This dinosaur, there's crocodile parts, and I just a whole bunch of parts there. Yeah, I think this kind of stuff is definitely not usable at all. But some of it will be good, some of it can be is useful enough to, to maybe wipe down. There's this thing, I'm not sure what this thing is, it's like an engine of some sort, so figure out what that is it's definitely lego because it has the um lego in there but we'll definitely go through this search all the good parts and take out what we can and then we might just resell it because stuff like this is is not usable for me for the store because it may look clean but it's a little bit um discolored so we'll go through that soon but we're gonna finish off these listings for the ebay store and get these uploaded asap so I wanted to show you guys something very interesting is uh, the new car, uh, the old Cara Dune uh, minifigure. So this figure is now selling. That, that's that's a sold item. That's not just a listing. That's a sold item at $70. That's at $66.99. The set's still selling real crazy. Is there anything else? That's international. So that's in Australia this is selling. And I picked this one. Up a couple of weeks back because I heard about the cancellation. I heard about the potential figure not coming out in the new set that it's supposed to be in. I bought this at $25. $25 including shipping. So, if that's going to fetch nearly three times the cost or the price I paid for it, it's a great investment. I wish I had bought more, but I think there wasn't many on the sale at the time. So, never know. Bricklink may actually have some. We'll have a look at that now. So, what's interesting is the price, definitely, is the, uh, these are the only ones that are being sold in Australia. That's $30 for new, too. So, they're brand new. So, I could, I could, I'm, I'm contemplating buying two of the two of them there. Just because they're selling at $70. But currently, I don't think we had the funds to do that. So, we're going to sell a few more things to be able to afford those. Um, it may sound bad, but, you know. Got to sell things and have money coming in to buy new things. But that's interesting. Let's just have a look at the price guide and how many times it's sold. Okay, that's interesting. $7 it's sold for. Down here, $41 is the most. For... Oh, that's two of them though. Two of them. Hmm. 
Interesting. We'll have to look at the international, see if they're selling anywhere. So the lowest price there is twenty one ninety four. That's only one. So it's going to be interesting. But we're going to hold off for now. But we will definitely get this Karajun listed so we can make some money on it. So the Bricklink store today is changing a lot. And I'm still in, it's still in the works as to what's happening. Um, but we still have everything still here. Just things are everywhere. As you may notice, the black cabinet with uh, the acro mills and a few things is gone. Um, Lego sets are sitting on couches. Things are everywhere. And that's because we've started putting up a new gym setup. So being given a whole bunch of weights from a friend and got a cage to calm bench and all that kind of stuff. And so this had to kind of make way for all that. And so there's a whole bunch of Lego stuff sitting around pops. Uh, this is the set we're in the middle of parting out while this happened. We've got sets there. We've got pieces still need to be put into the drawers. Um, but it's all going to work out and we're going to find a solu suitable solution to the problem. But if you haven't seen already, eBay listings are all here. So we've got two different piles. We have all these are listed on our eBay store, but we're awaiting the Ziploc bags that are big enough to fit the minifigure and the piece of card um, in them. And then they will get put away. Um, but these ones, all the new figures that haven't been listed on eBay that are yet to be listed um, or they're missing parts. So there's things like Qui-Gon Jinn. He's missing his uh, his left arm when I got him was cracked and um, on the back. And so he needs an arm. There's Itchy, who we've got two of, but Itchy here is missing legs. Um, we've got Choprai, whose torso was just not up to standard to put on eBay, so we're going to pick up a torso. Um, and then we've got Simpsons minifigures. We've got droids, astromech droids. We've got scales. He's all good. And he's just either are waiting for the label to be printed and to be uploaded, but also waiting on the Ziploc bags, which should be here tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And then they'll all be updated. But... Today's job is consolidate all these lots, finish parting out the uh, 9445 um, Ninjago set, and then cleaning up all this stuff. So we're going to get crack into that, and we have about three or four orders from the weekend that we need to pick. So we're going to get cracking. So this just arrived in the mail today, and it is what is going to clear up all of this. I hope, is our Ziploc bags. I can't remember how many I got. I think I got a couple of hundred, just so we're in the clear. But these are hopefully gonna be big enough to fit all of the minifigures and their cards in there. And then we're gonna re-put them back here for storage. So we're gonna get all this clear. We're gonna get all these uploaded, all those ones on the right, and those ones on the left are gonna be uh, just put away because they're already in the eBay store. So if you see any minifigures you like, definitely go check out the store in the link below. But yeah, we're going to do some orders, put some uh, tracking numbers in for customers, and then uh, get into this. So this week we uh, have been doing pretty good in order-wise. I mean, today is the 23rd, so we haven't got any orders today, but we got an order last night at about 10 o'clock. Uh, so the March 22nd to the 15th, there's a good amount of orders there for this week, plus all the, plus a few eBay orders, but for a total of nine days before um, shipping costs, 175.97, which is pretty good. And that's just not for the month, but that's for the week or for nine days. Um, but some big orders, like the past two orders are being above $44, $50, there's a $31. So orders are going well, and um, I'm happy that money is coming in because that means we can buy more Lego sets to part out. But we're going to pick this order here, which came in last night. 
whole bunch of black, light bluish gray, and um, and a couple of red Technic pieces, but those are all going out 18, 14, good quantity. So we're gonna pick that, ship that out, and then hopefully we're gonna go to the store. So parting out uh, the other sets that we purchased. So when we purchased the um, used Fangpire truck ambush, uh, we also got two other sets. We got set Hero Factory 2236. And then we also got Hero Factory 2282. So Rocker, XL, and Scorpio. Um, and so we are parting out Scorpio. So this is actually the remains of what needs to, what wasn't consolidated or the other lots that um, were already in our store from previous part outs are all put away. So these are the new unique lots. So if you guys need any of these lots, jump onto the store. Uh, galactic bricks but what we're going to do now is put these away and then we're going to part out all of these and pretty much the part that's got really well they're so easy uh, i think i was missing one part so that was super easy to adjust but we're going to part out that then we're going to print some labels and finish up those put them away and upload them to bricklinks not bricklink the ebay store We've consolidated all our drawers. We've got heaps of room to part out. And tomorrow, we're going to pick up some sets that are in clearance at Big W. So check out the next video for those ones. So we're uh, parting out. Oh, no. I think I just lost a part down there. Um, is it? What's his name? Rocker. And he got some really cool parts, really cool printed pieces there. in really good nick as well. Um, got two of those. Yeah, what else you got? Big chest plates. All in great condition. I think that's the only printed pieces that they have. But overall, just some really cool pieces. And great additions to the Bricklink store. So I wonder how much these are going to go for. We'll have to have a look and I'll update you guys. So turns out those pieces not worth a whole heap. But that's okay. <laughs> this red Technic ball joint is nearly the same price as this which is okay but we're gonna finish out we're just about finished putting all the draw numbers into only a few single pieces left and then we've put both bionicle sets actually they need to get reconsolidated into a bigger draw so they can fit but then they'll be both uploaded new bionicle parts which are always nice just something different other than plates bricks etc so Gonna finish uploading that and then we will do some. Uh, that's right, eBay. Move on to eBay. So the other set parted out for 35? I think it was 35. It was definitely less pieces for sure. The bag was way smaller. This one's parting out for 68.90. Um, 49 unique lots, which is great. More lots, more lots, more lots. Um, but. That'll probably go down to about 60 dollars, maybe just less, after I put it on sale. Just trying to get cash flow through the store so I can buy more sets and grow the inventory. So put these away, and that'll be us for tonight.